Um, if you watch this video I made earlier, uh, the guy who made the video responded. So I just wanted to respond in a in a video because I made a really long response. So it's kind of boring. Anyways, first he said, nowhere did I claim that I was the one who discovered it. So even though he never claimed that in the video, he says, I think this is what why. You know what I mean? Like he says, I think so. It kind of implies that he came up with a theory and the guy who sent me this video was it. So I like, see the second one. Uh, the guy who sent me the video was ex-Muslim. And he's like, look, this guy did so much research. He debunks the Quran. So at least from other people's point of view, they, they probably think you discovered it. And they probably think it's your intention was to debunk the Quran. So even though you're saying that's not your intention, either of these, it, it that's how it came off to other people. Okay, no reputable historian would use the date of the oldest available manuscript. So the reason why I said that is because actually it's pretty long, the explanation. I just didn't want to go through it. But uh, this is like the Jewish encyclopedia. And here's some of the... Let me show you. So the Muslims actually responded to this a while ago. So let's find it. All right, Genesis Rabbah. And so he's quoting from the Jewish encyclopedia, right? So don't worry. I'm not just uh, making that up. So anyways, um, actually, part three. <clears throat> Dating the book, and then it says, It is difficult to ascertain the exact date of the actual editing of the Bereshit Rabbah. Right? And that's in here, so don't worry, I'm not lying. You can look it up yourself. <clears throat> it was probably undertaken not much later than that of the Jerusalem Talmud. But even then, the text was probably not finally closed. For longer or shorter passages could always be added. The number of prefatory passages to a parasha be increased, and those existing be enlarged by accretion. Thus, beginning with the Sidra way the Elisha, extensive passages are found that bear the mark of the later Haggadah and have points of connection to the, with the Tahuma Hamilis. I don't know what that is, but in the cluding chapters, the Berhit Rabbah seems to have been have remained effective. Right, and that's in the Jewish Encyclopedia. Then he keeps going. Genesis Rabbah is a Palestinian work. Its editing took place sometime after the redaction of the Jerusalem Talmud. Zunz holds that it was collected and edited in the 6th century. But even then, the text was subject to accretions. And from Vailish, we find extensive passages bearing marks of the later day Haggadah. In Vayacha, the commentary is no longer verse by verse, while much of Vayish was probably down from the Tahuma homilies. In other words, the ex this is what the Muslim guy says. In other words, the textual character of Genesis Rabbah as a whole is uncertain, including the story of Abraham and idols that appear in Genesis Rabbah. Let's see if that's actually in... Let's see what source he uses there. <clears throat> okay, sounds like it's from here. And then we could go back and continue it. There are chapters in Genesis Rubba that have undergone extensive changes. Some of the commentary found in there have been drawn from the Tahuma to Homilies. Tahuma Homilies themselves had been compiled in the second half of the 9th century CE. Given the very composite nature of the book, it is very easy to imagine how difficult it is to reconstruct the original text of the Genesis Rabba. The task of reconstructing a text as close as possible to be the original Barashat Rabba, however, is exceedingly difficult. <clears throat> we do not have basic information about the origins of the document. Who pr who produced it? Was it a man or a group of men, right? So there's no, like, name of the author. Was this man a creative author or a mere mechanical compiler? Or was he a combination of both, right? It could be multiple people, too. Without such information, statements concerning the intention of the author compiler or the purpose of the document must remain speculative. The problem is further aggravated by the precarious nature of Jewish religious writing, where strict methods of their further transmission did not exist. The second difficulty in establishing the original stems from the flexibility of scribes in copying the text of Bereshit Riva, in contrast to the original, uh, sorry, to the rigidly prescribed rules for copying the Bible, no standards existed for copying rabbinic documents. Scribes changed or added to the text almost at will, right? So they could have added that whole Abraham thing. And actually, there was a guy, he's a Muslim, he has a Twitter page called Judaism Unveiled, 
And he has evidence that sometimes uh, Jews, rabbinic literature used to draw stuff from the Quran. So it's not unusual, right? Especially you're living under Muslims, you know. <clears throat> In addition, the scribes of some manuscripts other than that, than Vat 30, I think that's a manuscript, alternated from one example to another while copying contem contamination of the textual tradition makes it nearly impossible to construct a reliable pedigree of the manuscripts of Bereshit Rebbe. The er earliest manuscript of Ber Genesis Rabbah is Vat 30, which dates from 400, 500 years after the advent of Islam, right? So even that one is very late. Although this is considered the original text, there is reason. there is no reason to believe that the text exists in the form throughout its lifetime. Scribes should have, could have redacted the text by adding and subtracting new material. Errors could have been introduced. Although Vat 30 as a whole represents the archetype of the original Bereshit Rabbah, there is no reason to expect that every letter, word, or phrase mirrors the original. Five centuries intervened between the creation of the Bereshit Rabbah and the composition of Vat 30. During this period, mistakes due to scribal error or ignorance entered the exemplars from which Vat 30 itself was ultimately descended. In addition, scribes may have made some minor alterations to the text. Remember, he's quoting, by the way, right? These are quotes, it's not... It's not the Muslim guy talking. <clears throat> to clarify difficult reading or to reword a passage to fit contemporary linguistic usage, the other manuscripts of Bereshit Rabbah are needed to reconstruct the text of the original where vert, Vat 30 is damaged, lacking, or incorrect, and, set, and to set the record straight where the reading from Vat 30 has been questioned, the relationship of the other manuscript to each other is useful in describing later development of the text as a whole and in establishing the text and versions of the major editions which do not appear in Vat 30. In other words, the earliest manuscript available that help us reconstruct the original text of Genesis are late or appear 300, 200 years after the advent of Islam. The manuscript tradition of the Genesis Rabbah is also non-uniform. To establish that Genesis Rabbah was indeed the source of the Quran account of uh, Abraham the idols, one has to clearly establish its textual stability in addition to presenting manuscripts that predate Islam. The absence of such evidence leaves the polemical argument on very shaky grounds, much like the text of Genesis Rabbah. I know the guy, he said he wasn't trying to use it to refute the divinity of the Quran, but I mean, I don't see how you you can like say these types of things and not see that that's, whether it's your intention or not, it's, you know, it's obviously that's how people are going to perceive it. <clears throat> and you can even go, there's even more argument. There's a re that's why I don't want to put it in the video. It's really long. But I guess I'll just do it. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to go through this. Anyways, uh, as, uh, apparently both these books are very similar. And, you know, there's there's a, you know, there's evidence that they're so similar that they may have uh, uh, finalized later than, than they actually were. But I don't want to read this whole thing. It's too long. If you want to read it yourself you can but the point is that the argument i used were the oldest manuscript um uh, you know you know it adds up there's other things to it too i just didn't want to go into it